this is a bad day if I ever become an actor. You've seen me, uh, you've witnessed me on different other, different other segments. You've witnessed me doing an imitation of a Greek man, a Jamaican man, an African man, whatever. You know, imitation of someone that's, you, they did, I did my impressions of, of someone Chinese, my impression of someone Japanese. I did my impressions of people from the sitcoms like the Jefferson's, Good Times, San Francisco, and different that they come at these shows and movies and, and, and stuff like that. Well, I did those impressions for a sample of, of my acting what my acting style was like. Impressions of uh, what my acting style looks like. So if someone never likes my acting and they the one that make me an actor that get told of me. I kinda got inspired that this stuff as I there's uh, a man there's a man who does, uh, a man, he, I think he's a gay British or a Scottish or Irish, and you, you might know him. He's famous for playing uh, Mrs. Brown on Mrs. Brown's Boys, and his na name in real life is uh, Brandon O'Carroll. And he's like an actor comedian. He plays a part they miss uh, Agnes Brown and Mrs. Brown's voice. And uh, you probably know another one like Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry, he's a man also. An American, African man. Um, Afro-American actor, comedian, Tyler Perry. He also writes a lot of stuff, directs it, and plays in. And one of the things he plays, he plays an old lady, Grandma Medea. Grandma Medea. You know Medea? Well, that's really a man done by a man named Tyler Perry and I kinda got my inspiration from like Brandon O'Carroll Tyler Perry and I got my inspiration even from ones like Norman Lear who never really uh, I'd never really seen them do acting like like Norman Lear but I seen the others like John Amos, Sherman Hemsley, Red Fox, Lawanda Page was play Honesta, Honesta you fool, Marley Gibbs, Florence Johnson made, you know, and I like those old comedies. I'm kind of inspired to remake my own version of those comedies, and yet hopefully, if ever, if if fate ever makes it, if fate ever deals me the right cards, and I can become uh, an artist like I would say Tyler Perry uh, and Brandon O'Carroll. If I ever become an artist, say like like Sherman Hemsley, Lawanda Page, Red Fox, Carol O'Connor, uh, if I ever become a great great artist, like like say, what's his name Norman Lear, 
who made a lot of those old comedies. If I ever become a great artist like those guys, and life deals me in the right cards, and then I would be, I would be kind of stupid not to go for it. So you know something, I may be the next Tyler Perry. Look forward to me being props the next Tyler Perry. And so if that ever happens, I like to leave uh, uh, online videos, uh, YouTube videos that people can see. If a manager of a place like Paramount Pictures says, hey, this guy would make a good brand new George Jefferson, or this guy would make a good brand new uh, Carol O'Connor, or this guy would make some good comedian, kind of like on the idea of Grandma Medea, or Tyler Perry, or another Sherman Hemsey. Then I like to leave videos behind YouTube videos that like a man they tried at say Paramount Pictures, Sony Pictures could review this and if they really like me they can contact me. Uh, I would leave my contact information sometime. I might even make a website of me being an artist and so I leave the step behind so that people can view it and look at it and listen to it and decide. And if, if they work as a manager for, say, like Fox Studios and they want to know what great uh, artist I am, they can contact me if I happen to have my contact information valuable, if they can find me, all they have to do is look in the Canadian Windsor, Ontario phone book, the name Jarmoski, D-J-A-R-M-O-T-S-K-Y, Jarmoski. And I would be in the, uh, Windsor, Ontario, Canada phone directory would have my phone number, mailing address, the whole shots, but look at the way pages. And there I am under Jarmoski, Michael Patrick Jarmoski Jr. Thank you. <laughs>